Hi guys, I'm Takara. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw in the title, I am doing a tag video. I don't know what the name of this tag is. I tried to look for it, but I believe it was started by the Simple Chic Life here on YouTube. I looked her name up and put tag by it, and the only tag I saw was a nine questions tag. And the questions are different from the tag that I was tagged in. So I have no clue about that, but I think it was started by her because that's what Chrissy said. And Chrissy P is actually who tagged me in this video. So thank you, Boo, for tagging me. Also, I believe Jeanne Antoinette here on YouTube tagged me recently as well. So thank both of you guys for tagging me. And I am a bit late doing this. I'm probably like the last person to film this tag. <sighs> Y'all, if you've tagged me in something, I'm working on it. <laughs> if you mention me, I see the mentions. So I'm trying to get through those tag videos. So if you guys see an influx of tags, then that would be why. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm kind of horrible at filming tag videos. I'm not the most consistent in general. I'm sure you guys have noticed that, <laughs> but I'm trying, I'm trying. So anyway, I'm done rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into the questions. There are 10 questions in this tag and I have them on my phone. So I will be looking at them um, on my phone. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start with the first question. Also, I'm not gonna describe the fragrances too much because most of these you guys have seen on my channel and have heard me discuss before. So I don't think it's necessary that I go into a lot of detail about them because it will pretty much be redundant. The first question is, what is your gateway niche scent? And for that one, I grabbed Love by Killian because this one is the most high-end niche fragrance that I first purchased. I believe technically it would have been Shagaf Oud. I'm not sure if they're considered a niche house even though technically it is niche because I believe the house only creates fragrances, but I just went ahead and went with the more higher end one. And as I mentioned a million times to you guys, this is a Orange Blossom Neroli Marshmallow Tuberose scent. So it's slightly bubble gummy from that tuberose that is not listed in the notes, but I get, my nose gets that. And then you have a bit of freshness from that orange blossom. And then there's a citrusy floral component from the Neroli. And in case you guys didn't know, Neroli is actually the oil that is produced from an orange blossom. And to me, a lot of the time, it can smell like orange peels, which I said previously, like a florally orange peel scent. So in the opening, the orange blossom and Neroli are most prominent, and then it has a slight powdery bubble gumminess and of course it has that marshmallow note that adds a bit more powderiness and um an airy sweetness to the fragrance and then like i've told you guys previously i don't know why i laugh every time i get ready to say this but kind of smells like a coca-cola on the verge of losing its carbonation or like a, a boozy cola scent think like a um a coke and like hennessy on ice so yeah that is love and i knew i wanted this to be my first niche purchase because of how much i really enjoyed my sample when i tried it i did sample this it wasn't a blind buy and then y'all know i purchased caramel overdose which is a clone of it in my opinion i said what i said and i really enjoyed that one as well so yeah Again, that is Love by Killian, and that is my gateway niche fragrance. So question number two is your significant other's favorite scent on you. I am single, <laughs> but I have a, a little boo. And I mentioned in my layering video that the fragrances that he gave me the most reaction were uh, a combination of the only one by Dolce & Gabbana, there. And Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. So I had these layered one day and as I told you guys in that video, he was upset with me, but we were going on a date and he was picking me up. So um, when I went outside and got in the car, he was like, I'm upset with you and you get in here smelling all good. And I told you guys, he's not one who really compliments me on my fragrances very often at all. He's the type that thinks that if you always smell good, then there is no need to tell you that you smell good. And I told him, I'm like, no, if you think I smell good, you should tell me all the time or not. I like to hear it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this combination got the biggest reaction out of him. 
and y'all know this is a caramel and vanilla latte scent with some fruitiness primarily in the opening and to my nose the fruitiness is from that pear note it's juicy and sweet and this one is a caramel woody scent to my nose primarily in the opening it has some berries that are sweet and juicy but after the opening i get mostly the caramel note and then a very prominent sandalwood note on my skin I told you guys the sandalwood note in this leans pretty synthetic on me and it's, it's very prominent like I said. So this is one that I pretty much only use for layering but they're really good together. Just Gold Couture just helps to amplify that caramel note in the only one even more. So yeah, that was my significant other's <laughs> favorite scent on me. So question three is the most hyped up fragrance in your collection. And for that one, I picked the fragrance that I feel is the most hyped at the moment and the word hype doesn't necessarily have to have a bad connotation even though it does <laughs> today when you hear somebody say something is hype they're usually using the word negatively but that's not how i'm using it because i feel like this fragrance is hype and i personally feel like it's worth the hype so the fragrance that i picked was angel share by killian and you guys have heard me talk about this one on my channel before and y'all know i love it it is a boozy, sweet, woody cinnamon fragrance to summarize it. I feel like I've discussed it enough and y'all probably are tired of hearing me talk about it. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail about that, but it is unisex and I feel like it is perfectly unisex. And like I said, I feel like it is completely worth the hype. So again, that is Angel Share by Killian. Question number four is the fragrance in your collection that gets the most hate. And for that one, I decided to pick Edel by Lancome because when this first came out and even today, it, <laughs> It's a fragrance that gets a lot of hate because people think it is basic, it is generic, it is simple. As y'all can see, I love it just based on the dent in this perfume. I'm someone who, if people are calling a fragrance all of those things, it kind of makes me want to try it more. <laughs> I'm the type of person who, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like a form of bullying and I've never liked bullies. <laughs> So I feel like these perfumes like this are getting bullied and I like to be able to show them some love if I can. And I love this. I noticed that a lot of pretty uh, everyday easy reach fragrances are labeled as boring and basic and all of those things. And the everyday person more than likely loves those type of scents. So who cares? Wear what you love and don't let anybody tell you that your fave is boring or basic. If you love it, you love it. It's amazing to you. And like I said, I love this, basic or not. <laughs> I personally don't think it is. I think it is a beautiful, fresh, clean, sweet pear vanilla and rose fragrance. So it's a bit creamy from that vanilla note. It has this uh, sweet juiciness from that pear and then the rose adds a slightly powdery freshness to the fragrance. I think it's perfect for, like I said, every day, running errands, work, pretty much any occasion, I feel like this can fit. And also I feel like it works year round as well, even though um, this type of scent is usually associated with hot weather. I've been wearing it in the cool weather as well and it still performs great and I don't feel like it smells out of place. So again, this is the fragrance that I feel in my collection, or it's one of the ones in my collection that gets a lot of hate. I feel like I could have included Dylan Blue as well, but I feel like Edol got even more hate than Dylan Blue did. It could be neck and neck, but this is the one I decided to pick. And again, that is Edol by Lancome. Question number five is your favorite perfume to wear to sleep. And this is one I don't think you guys have seen on my channel because it's one that I wear pretty much exclusively for bed. I don't think I've ever worn this outside. Not that I wouldn't because I do really enjoy the scent, but it's just a very soft fragrance. And I like a fragrance that I can smell while I'm wearing it, um, even through a mask. And I feel like with this one, I really can't. It's okay when I sleep because a lot of the time I sleep with my arm near my nose. So I get the occasional whiff of it, but as far as wearing it out and about, I don't think it's one that'll project much. But as you will see, it's almost gone. Like, oh, I didn't even tell you what it was. <laughs> this is Fresh Cream by Philosophy. And yeah, as you guys can see, 
this is pretty much almost gone and like i said i've only been wearing it for bed and for me i think it's an eau de toilette yeah it is an eau de toilette but this performs more like a fragrance mist i feel that some of my fragrance mists even perform better than this does as far as projection is concerned the longevity isn't horrible i get about five to six hours from it but after about the first hour is almost completely a skin scent is soft to moderate initially um i'll get an occasional whiff but after that is very close to the skin so that's why i like to wear it for bed i find it more of a it's a very intimate scent and it does help me sleep better i feel when i spray this on at night i usually sleep pretty well and this is the one i've been reaching for for a hot little minute and it's almost gone and the thing is i kind of want to repurchase it but it's like i don't want to just purchase a perfume that i'm wearing exclusively to bed but I just, I love the scent. I just wish it projected more. It smells like a sweet, milky vanilla cream to me. And I think that perfectly sums it up. But like I said, I just wish it projected more. Again, that is Fresh Cream by Philosophy. And this is my favorite bedtime scent. Question number six is what is your best new purchase? And the fragrance that I picked for this one is one that will actually be in an upcoming haul so i'm not going to talk too much about it right now um but i am going to go ahead and show it to you guys and this is mon exclusive by Guerlain. i love the bottle some people might find it gaudy but i think it's cute it's a nice little bow and i think it's still sleek and chic if you have mon Guerlain, i feel that this is or Mongerlon is very similar to this. And I think that's what they were going for when they created Mongerlon. But that just kind of gives you an idea of what it smells like. It's that same lavender and vanilla scent. I know a lot of people love Mongerlon and I liked it, but there was something about it that kind of annoyed me. And I've come to find out that I think it was the lavender note in it. I think the lavender note in it was a bit too herbal for me. And I'm finding that when a lavender note is overly herbal i don't really enjoy the fragrance that much even though i love a lavender nut it just can't be overly herbal in a fragrance and this one i feel like it's perfect this is what i wanted monger line to be so that's all i'm gonna say about this one in this video i probably won't say much more about it in my haul because that pretty much sums it up but yeah this is my best new purchase and again that is mon exclusive by Guerlain and I know someone's gonna ask. I purchased this fragrance from Fragrance by that CA. It came in stock randomly and I got an in stock email notification because I signed up for them and I was super ecstatic when I saw this and I jumped on it immediately. So if it's one that you're looking for, um I know it's very hard to find, sign up for those in stock notifications. I will link fragrance by down in my description box the link to this product on your site and you can sign up and they'll notify you when it comes back in stock i'm assuming if it came in stock now they may come back in stock again in the future maybe so yeah again that is mine exclusive by Guerlain and again my best new purchase so question number seven is my most worn of all time and for this one i could have picked the ed hardy the one in the pink bottle that i mentioned in one of my other fragrance tag videos i went through like i think i told you guys like three bottles of those so that would still be my most worn because that's the most bottles of perfume i've ever gone through but i decided to pick something different for this video just to spice it up a bit and the fragrance that i have here is roberto cavalli Gemini paradisa that you guys have seen on my channel and know i love this is my second bottle of gemma second 100 ml bottle so i've been through a whole 100 ml bottle of this perfume already and you see this one already has a dent as well so as I've mentioned previously, I love this fragrance and to me it is a floral pear and vanilla scent. So it has a crisp green pear note in it to my nose. It doesn't smell like it's a ripe pear to me. It doesn't smell juicy. It smells like it's green and crisp, maybe on the verge of being ripe, but not quite. And then I don't smell vanilla in the literal sense. The vanilla note in this I feel kind of just adds a bit of creaminess to the fragrance and the floral aspect i don't know what florals it is i don't think it lists the florals but kind of smells like it might be like an orchid note or something like that something powdery and fresh 
uh, as I mentioned, the powderiness in this kind of reminds me of the scent of Secret Powder Fresh deodorant. That deodorant has um, a sweet powdery scent to my nose and that's kind of the same kind of freshness I get from this fragrance. I love it on its own. I like it for layering. I actually have it on today. The combination I'm wearing today, because I'm wearing a layering combination, I'm wearing this layer with Girl of Now Shine and this was actually inspired by Stephanie Tamayo here on YouTube. She DM'd me thinking that I had mentioned a combination of Girl of Now, the original, and Gemini Paradiso. I hadn't, but when she said that, I was like, yeah, that sounds like something I need to give a try to. She said that combination was amazing. So if you have that one, then give it a try. Or if you have Shine like me, give it a try. It goes perfectly together. Gemma just kind of helps to add a bit more freshness to Shine. And y'all know I already get some freshness in Shine anyway, but give that combination a try if you have it. Um, I'm assuming it would do the same with the original Girl of Now because I told you guys previously that Girl of Now and Shine are very similar to my nose. I just prefer Shine because it's a bit less cloying for me. But yeah, that's a bit off topic, but I did want to share that with you guys. And again, that is Roberto Cavalli, Gemma Di Paradiso, and that is the one that I picked for my most worn fragrance. So number eight is the perfume that gets you the most compliments. And I honestly could have picked this perfume for the last question as well because I feel like I've been through just about the same amount, probably actually more of this one than I have of uh, Gemma, but I had to put this one for this question because this is literally my most complimented perfume to date. But the perfume I'm talking about is C. Passione by Giorgio Armani. That's what it looks like. And this is the big boy. This is the 150 ml bottle. So I really don't have to talk about this one, let you guys know I love it. This is a fresh, clean, slightly sweet, fruity, shampoo-y scent. I've always told you guys that this smells like a sophisticated shampoo fragrance to, to my nose because, I don't know, it just has this air of sophistication about it that I find pretty sexy. So I think this is a sexy, clean free floral scent so yeah like i said this is my most complimented fragrance and y'all know where i live people don't really give compliments like that but i've actually gotten several compliments here on this fragrance i got one from a co-worker i got one from a stranger in the gas station i got one from a worker at a restaurant when i went to cali a while back i got one from an uber driver i've gotten compliments from friends on this fragrance so yeah, this is one that people seem to love on me. It's probably another one of those people-pleasing fragrances. Oh, it matches me today. <laughs> um, but I feel like this is another fragrance that gets a lot of hate as well, but I love it. And apparently other people love it on me. So yeah, gonna continue to wear it. And like I said, I've used a lot of these as well. This is my second bottle, I think. Actually, I have a backup of this as well. And I've used about a fourth of this bottle here, but I have another bottle that I was working on before I got this one um, that has a dent in it as well. And I've gone through a whole 100 ml bottle of this one already. So yeah, I love this fragrance. On its own, layered, it's just a really easy going fragrance. It's one of those that you can just pick up and know you smell good and not have to think too much about. So again, that is C. Passione by Giorgio Armani. So question number nine is the most surprising perfume in your collection. And the reason why I picked this one as my most surprising perfume is because I knew I would probably like it, but I didn't know I would like it as much as I do. This was a love at first sniff. And a lot of times when I love something immediately, once I wear it, I don't love it as much or it becomes more of a like than a love. Something about it usually ruins it for me. Not completely ruins it, but it takes it down from a love to a like. But this is one that I was in love with when I first smelled it. I loved it when I wore it and every time after that, and I still love it. So the fragrance I'm talking about is by Mason Margiela and it is Replica Coffee Break, which y'all have seen and heard plenty about on my channel. And this one I purchased because of my boo, Jeanne Antoinette. She had been told me to try it and it took me forever to try it, but I'm glad I finally did. And like I told you guys previously, this is a milky, creamy, lavender and coffee scent. Like I said, it has a very like syrupy scent to it initially that smells like caramel to me. There's no caramel listed in the notes on Fragrantica, but it smells caramel-like to me. And it smells like you have a coffee 
with loads of caramel syrup and a splash of lavender milk. Don't know if that's a thing or not. That's what I get in the opening. And then as it settles, it becomes more aromatic. So that lavender note becomes more prominent. Um, the coffee note is still there, but it, it settles and it's more so in the background and it's still a bit milky and creamy, but then it's more of a an aura of like being, you know, in a coffee shop on a coffee break, like the name says. So I think they did a great job at encompassing a coffee break in this actual fragrance. So most surprising to me, definitely, because I just love it so much. So again, that is Coffee Break by Mason Margiela. So this last question was very hard for me to answer and I'm still not sure if I'm happy with the fragrance that I picked, but we gonna roll with it today. <laughs> so the question is, this is number 10 by the way, it is your absolute favorite of all time. You see how that question would be hard to answer, right? I honestly don't even know if I have a absolute favorite in my collection. So I went with this one because I do love it. And it's one of those easy reach fragrances for me that I can just throw on and I smell good. And the people around me are gonna enjoy it as well on me. And I feel like it's one that I'll always have in my collection. So the fragrance I'm talking about is by Armani and this is C. Fiori. Y'all are probably like, what? I know, right? Oh, my nails match. <laughs> but yeah, I love this fragrance. Um, you guys can't see, but I've used more than half of this 100 ml bottle and I have another 50 ml bottle, which was the first one that I had that I've used more than half on that one as well of. And that's why I purchased this one because I was scared I was gonna run out and I needed a backup because I don't know, I get nervous. <laughs> And so I've just, I use that one for traveling purposes because it's a smaller bottle. And this is the one that I spray day to day. But I felt like this one deserved the spot over some of the other fragrances that I was considering. I don't know, it just made more sense for me to pick this one for my response to this question because I love it on its own. I love it layered. I love it pretty much year round, even though it doesn't perform the greatest in cooler weather. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about it. Um, fragrance wise, I've already told you guys this a million times. It has a bubblegum scent to me and it smells specifically like bazooka bubblegum. You know, a little hard pink bubblegums with the powdery dusting. Literally the flavor of the gum and the powdery dusting, all that. So that's what I get from this and then it has a creamy, buttery, sweet vanilla note as well. Some people say this smells like a, a berry milkshake to them. I can see that as well. But that's why I get bubble gum and vanilla. Uh, it's a very lovely scent. I feel like people, when they smell it on you, mostly only smell the vanilla because I've had this on before. It was actually at work and we had a meeting and someone walked in and as they were getting ready to walk past me, they were like, Oh, something smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. I didn't say anything. Usually when I hear people say something and I know it's probably me they're smelling, I typically don't say anything. I just kind of smile to myself like they're smelling me. They were trying to guess who it was and everything and I'm just sitting there like, like I know it's me, but I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, that just showed me that this fragrance projects more than even I think so. It's one of those that wears pretty lightly and even if you're not smelling it anymore, other people around you are probably still smelling it. Um, and like I said, it projects more than I thought because she wasn't super close when she smelled it. She hadn't even walked past me yet. So I guess it was in the air around me. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I love this by itself, layered. It's another one of those easy reach fragrances. So again, that is my absolute favorite of all time at the moment <laughs> that I could come up with for <laughs> this particular tag. I don't know how true that is, but I think I'm pretty happy with my pick. So again, that is C. Fiori by Armani. So yeah, guys, that is all for this tag. I don't think I'm gonna tag anybody because I'm already super late doing this. But if you guys haven't done this tag yet and you are interested in doing it, I am tagging you. <laughs> And I will leave the questions down in my description box for you to reference. And of course I'll have all the fragrances linked down in my description box as well if you guys were interested in them. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.